Question 2. In a quiz, 4 marks were awarded for each correct answer and 3 marks were deducted for each wrong answer. No marks were awarded or deducted for unanswered questions. The following table shows the result of two pupils. However, some coffee was spilled on the result slip such that one of the numbers cannot be seen. How many unanswered questions did Billy have? So this is the tiny coffee spill and we are trying to figure out what is the number behind this spill. Let's focus on N. She has zero unanswered questions, 25 wrong questions and that gave her a total of 165 marks. Let's think about what will happen if instead of having 25 wrong answers, she didn't get these 25 questions wrong. So what will be her total marks then? So our first step is Total number of marks if N answered all questions correctly. So we start with 165. If she didn't get this 25 questions wrong, we will need to give her back the 3 marks that were deducted. Correct. So we're going to add back the 25 times 3 which is 75 marks. Not to forget, not only she wouldn't lose these 3 marks per question and if she happens to get them correct, she will gain another 4 marks per question. So essentially you are gaining 7 more marks per question. Instead of getting them wrong, you get it correct. So we need to add another 4 marks per question and that will give us a total of 340 marks. Again, 340 marks will be the total marks if N answered all questions correctly. From here, we are going to figure out how many questions are there. So total number of questions. If 340 is the total marks when all questions are answered correctly and each of them will be awarded 4 marks, we're just going to take that and divide it by 4, which will give us 85. So there are 85 questions in total. Next, knowing this, we can start to figure out how many unanswered questions Billy has. Given that Billy uh, had no wrong answer, this 168 marks got to come from the correct answers. So we're going to figure out number of questions Billy answered correctly. We are going to take 168 divided by 4 and that will give us 42. Let me zoom out a bit to give myself a bit more space. Okay. In order to figure out the number of unanswered questions Billy had, we know that there are 85 in total. He had no wrong answers and he had 42 correct answers. The remaining questions will be the unanswered. So the final step, number of unanswered questions Billy had is equal to 85 minus 42 and that will give you the answer of 43.